I'm Kendall Hibden, and this is LCRA's Tough Job. For this super scientific expedition, I'll be assisting LCRA field biologists on their quest to thwart the bad and preserve the good. Muscles, that is. These scientists spend their time tracking, collecting, and studying creatures and plant life above and below the water surface, up and down the lower Colorado River Basin. You're doing great, Kendall. Biologist Stephen Davis is my lead for our first mission collecting water samples to test for bad mussels. Villagers, to be exact. Villagers? No, sorry, Velligers. V-E-L-I-G-E-R-S. The planktonic larva or baby form of zebra mussels. Zebra mussels are an invasive species that can take over the aquatic life in lakes and rivers. This is a cluster of adult zebra mussels. As you can see, they get their name from their prominent stripes. Looking for those villagers. Armed with a tow net, a sample container, and... Oh, there's one more thing I forgot to ask you if you brought. What's that? A winning attitude. Winning attitude is, is packed and ready, sir. Now we're ready for the hunt. We've paddled out about 200 yards from the dock on Lake Travis, preparing to anchor near Mansfield Dam. How deep are we right now? It's pretty deep here. My anchor would not reach here. Well, approximately, ding! <laughs> All right, enough with the fun. It's time to capture my sample. Anchors away. This is happening. Steven says 14 meters is a good distance for a measurement. That's one. There's five. There's 10. There's 14, and I save the paddle all at the same time. Very good. You show promise. The key to retrieving the sample is a slow and steady pace without creating a ripple. All right, now bring it up slowly. The scientific phrase for this method is... Slow ascension. We got a low velocity ascension to retrieve the sample. Now that we've retrieved the tow net, we rinse with distilled water and preserve the sample with denatured ethanol in our sanitized container. But now, everything should be in here. After a long day battling villagers in the aquatic office, it's back to the lab to manually count and document the findings from the samples we've gathered. This is the most crucial part of the process. Studying zebra mussel spawning trends above Mansfield Dam is key to telling the larger story of zebra mussel activity downstream of the lower Colorado River Basin. And that's where our second super scientist, Lisa Benton, comes into the jungle. I mean, picture. When Lisa isn't monitoring the river for algae blooms or coordinating other water quality protection efforts, you can be sure she's keeping a close eye on the friendly freshwater mussels, or as I like to call them, the good mussels. We finally complete our trek through the brush to the river's bank. Into the water. It's time to do some mussel surveying to ensure the good guys are healthy. The way you do mussel surveying is it's all tactile, so you just use your hands to feel. Don't get discouraged if you keep pulling up rocks. <laughs> Ooh, I found one! Oh, it's a dead one. <laughs> This is a yellow sand shell. What is this guy? That's a pimpleback. There's the Texas pimpleback, the Texas fat mucket, three ridge, fragile paper shell, yellow sand shell. There's a the Texas fawn's foot, giant floaters. Giant floaters? Will we find a giant floater maybe, out Maybe, maybe. Mussels are the livers of the rivers, as we say. And so, the livers of the rivers. The livers of the rivers. They filter the water, and so the ecosystem service that they provide is clean water. So, we have a decrease in native mussel populations that's been documented over you know, the period of many decades. Um, and so, it's important to conserve them for a lot of reasons, but that ecosystem service is a really, really awesome one. What are we standing on right here? Thousands of zebra mussels. Zebra mussels are an invasive species that can have a significant impact on the aquatic life in lakes and rivers. Zebra mussels also pose a danger to utilities, infrastructure, and watercraft. So it's important for you boaters out there to clean, drain, and dry your boats to help prevent the spread of these invasive species. 
I really enjoy this stuff. I get kind of enthusiastic. Enthusiasm, passion, and the love of nature is what drives these biologists. As practicing stewards of the river, these Elsiri employees enhance the quality of life of the Texans we serve by monitoring one of the most precious resources, water, and the aquatic life that helps to maintain it. Now that is what I call a tough job.